okay next is the topic why do we need a separate study of macroeconomics or in other words why there is a distinction between the microeconomics and macroeconomics why cannot we all together study economics as a whole so there are two basic reasons for which we need a separate study of macroeconomics the first one what is true at the micro level may not be true at the macro level sometimes there are some situations which can be true for micro level but the same situation if we apply to macro economics it may not be same for example saving is a social virtue at the level of an individual as it increases future prosperity but if all the people of the nation start saving then there will be no investment and if there is no investment there will be no new production without new production we cannot have output without output there will be less supply more demand and there will be gap between demand and supply which will in turn increase prices thus saving at micro level is good but saving at macro level is bad for the economy and uh, the second one is that there are certain big issues like problems of growth and development inflation unemployment etc these are all big issues which cannot be addressed properly at the micro level we always need to handle such a situation for macro level